Welcome, welcome to Full Throttle Off-Road, uh, YouTube's most useless show. Um, glad you're here. Today, we are going to be answering yet another uh, question that you never really cared enough about to ask. So, we're getting ready to head to uh, this little uh, drag race shindig this weekend. Our, uh, yes, we know, big turbos, big turbos, we know, and if they're coming, they're just not here yet. But there was a question that was on my mind. Uh, Dozer and I were, were wondering, does a, an old belt slow you down? Like when a belt gets used and beat up, does it rob power? You know, does it become less efficient at putting that power to the ground? I'm gonna find out. Have you guys ever like been ripping, blow a belt, put a new belt on, and then all of a sudden you're like, man, my car feels like a brand new car. Cause it feels that way to me, but never actually done anything to show whether or not you're actually losing performance uh, with an old belt. So it's pretty straightforward today, man. We're gonna take this machine out. It currently has a uh, Evo badass belt on it which has almost a thousand miles on it. Um, crazy, crazy. We're gonna put a brand new uh, Evo Badass belt on it. We're gonna do zero to 60 times with each. And we're gonna see if we can knock off any time on a zero to 60 by just replacing a belt. So we're gonna take just a small second to reminisce and look back at the amount of abuse that this belt has endured Literally over the past year. I put this belt on after I purposely blew a belt last year to test how strong these belts were This is the belt that I put on after that test and it has survived everything that I've put it through since that day so Let's uh Put a little montage up to pay homage to this badass belt <laughs> to do now we're gonna go out I need this guy to perform one last feat for me because how uh, interesting would it be if I go out to do a 0 to 60 with this belt and I blow it <laughs> during this test uh, I need it to hold strong man hold strong one more time so I can get a couple of 0 to 60 pulls out of it uh, and then we're gonna come back um, put on the new belt rinse and repeat so I'm gonna go get some heat in this belt and get some heat in the motor 
and then we're going to do some uh, 0 to 60 times and see what we come up with. That's pretty cool. Guess I gotta go back and get the draggy. Well, oh, where could my draggy be? Oh, where, oh, where has it gone? We seem to be in a pickle. I thought I had set it right on top of the map tuner. But apparently my thoughts are incorrect. It's right here. Found it. Let's get this draggy turned on and see what we can do with this old belt here. This thing is a freaking champion. Skip. Connect, please. Connected. Always with the satellite. Tickle my belly one last time! Almost a thousand miles on that thing. That belt and I, we've got memories. I almost feel bad. It is going to get a very special place on the wall here. It will not be forgotten. Hmm. Well, here's the new one. Obviously is in much better shape. You can see we're using the same belt. We've got G boost uh, 383 right there and then we're gonna put a G boost 383 so one thing we're gonna do and I would never expect you to do all of these steps um, but it is the recommended way uh, by G boost to break in a belt so we're gonna follow these steps Step one is wash the belt in warm soapy water and let it air dry to remove all the residue. Step two, scuff the drive and driven clutch sheaves with a Scotch-Brite pad. Step three, then clean with brake contact cleaner and a clean towel. Step four, drive unit in low gear for the first 15 miles, varying your speed, avoid riding at wide open throttle during this time. This will ensure the belt gets seated properly. We have performed the necessary steps provided by the G-Boost website to properly break in a belt. Driving in low for any period of time is extremely excruciating to do, but we did it. So place your bets down below. I'm really curious. Post a comment. Let me know. Pause the video. Something. Let me know. Do you think that by replacing the belt, we're going to knock off any time on a zero to 60? I think we will. I think we will. 
I don't know how much, but I do think that we're going to shave some time off. Um, let's go find out. Alright guys, let's get that draggy out so we can see if there's any uh, statistical, statistically relevant difference between a new belt and an old belt when it comes to 0 to 60 acceleration. Tickle me please! interesting data that we have uh, here before us so with the old belt with the uh, thousand mile belt we pulled a uh, 3.86 with the new belt we pulled a 3.92 is that statistically relevant I don't know it's not any faster but I don't really think it's any slower I, I think uh, I think it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I just maybe it just felt like um, a newer belt was pulling harder because the data does not support what my belly was feeling. Interesting. Interesting. Well, you know, that's why we do these tests, right? I mean, people got assumptions. They think things are a certain way, and then you test them and you find out. Well. They're another sort of way. But, that's why we do these tests. Like I said in the beginning of the video, man, I mean, this is Full Throttle Off-Road, YouTube's most useless channel, where we answer the questions that you really didn't care to have answered. Um, and this one, we'll, we'll, we'll chalk that one up to that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this bell here is a champion. It has seen it has seen some stuff, we'll just say that. So, we're gonna have ourselves a little ceremony, commencement, departing, send off. This belt has a heart. And uh, look forward to the next thousand miles on this belt. <laughs> uh, it won't be a, a thousand miles though, and I'll tell you, because if you made it this far in the video, there's a new belt coming out. It's not the Sandstorm. So everyone who says the Sandstorm is a new belt, it's not. Um, it's not the badass belt, obviously, because this one's old. It is a new one. Um, and I think we're gonna get a couple of them here in like the next week or two. Um, so we are going to test that belt. So if you recall how I tested this belt, we ran it till we popped. We're gonna do the exact same thing with that new belt. We're gonna run them till they pop. Uh, they claim that it fixes all the shifting issues of this belt uh, because this belt sometimes can drop your RPMs uh, when you put it on, and that's the result of uh, the harder compound. Um, the clutches overshift a little bit. So they claim that the new belt resolves that and is 40% stronger than this belt. So it's supposed to shift as smooth as an OEM belt yet be six or seven times stronger. Um, so stick around, uh, hit that subscribe button, do whichever you gotta do, man. No hit the notification bell, because I'm gonna test that belt. I'm gonna blow it up. We're gonna find out if what they claim is true. Because they said this belt was three times stronger than an OEM belt. Uh, and in our real world test, we kind of vetted it out to be about five times stronger. So uh, we'll do the exact same thing with that new belt. Anyways, I'm sure I bored you enough. Um, I'm going to put this belt up in the Hall of Fame here. And uh, we're going to look forward to the next one. So peace out.